ultimately you're the director, it's your film. Yeah. So, <coughs> but yeah, in terms of uh, like uh, the expo expository, the observational, those are uh, those are just two modes of the out of the six, and I'll, I'll just uh, carry on. Heidi at the lead. I'll give you guys the link for that one. It's a very interesting uh, uh, tell on how documentary filmmakers go about their business, basically, right? Yes, yes. It's an excellent, it's an excellent watch because it, it tells you the techniques uh, that of a person are you, right? Um, do, do you like getting into people's business, like? We saw Roger. Uh, like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, I think every filmmaker would dabble in, in, in photography at some point, especially at the beginning. Um, that's where I found my, uh, my sense of style, I guess, in terms of how, how I view the world through a lens. Mm -hmm. You have to know what you're looking at. Yes. Uh, or if he was really honest, you know, telling his story, he might want to be up close, more wide, you know, more yeah, in the, front. Put the lights behind it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It kind of washes. Though, which uh, actually I'll do right now. And lighting. Like you can find natural light sources of light, or else you can augment them. <laughs> From it being very. very uh, yeah, maybe you have the lights on. Can you slide over here? Just more curious. Yeah. Or maybe not. Ooh. Yeah, we're now just move over that way. Uh, Sterling Garnison is an, an excellent filmmaker, and his, his interviews are always styled with, with uh, light hmm. to uh, create the, uh, the feeling and emotion of what his interviewer is going to project. Because he likes to strategizing his questioning to his uh to his participant do you yeah. really have to be in natural lighting in general yeah well, i used to have a handy cam and this, this past summer i got like a dslr to because i wanted to do a little bit more yeah. higher grade filming and like it could finally like adjust all that stuff on the go and it's like this is nice like, i can barely see anything with this i can see a little red light yeah <coughs> but but when the light is on you, it looks awesome. I'm just making this warm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Real warm. Yeah, very warm. So you, you, you can add that flavor as a director in documentary, right, to really give it some style mm -hmm. um, with just color <laughs> and a simple light. It's just a matter of how you want to meld your subject when you're talking. Oh, wow. And that's uh, when I, just, when I was talking about the, the yeah, wow. Uh, the punk documentary that we got. Yeah, there. I, I created oh, a, that is so a sense of... Uh, weird. He was uh, quite... Uh, quite <laughs> Sorry. Up, well, you, know. yeah. <laughs> you do document the documenting of the documenting. <laughs> but it's kind of off, kind of... You might want to go off right, camera, right, maybe. Scanty, you know, yeah. The image of it, just kind of give this you know, skewed reality of what he... He, he was back in the day because he was like, well, can you, you can uh, slide this back, can't you? So you can, yeah. Ooh. Okay, and this can, like, so kind of mount that oh. so it's not super. Oh, wow. I mean, it's kind of close to your face, but, mm -hmm. you know, it helps a little bit. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, man. I'm kind of falling in love with having a big camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's gonna make some big. What What's nice about it? I don't know. Just because, like, um, the filming we've been doing so far is just on a like junky Canon DSLR, mm. and just the way it can focus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it is common formula to have a story arc, and does everybody know are familiar with story arcs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's 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 the basic hero's journey that everybody follows and has come to expect in watching films. Uh, that's the go-to for everybody, and in a scale, depending on where you put them, is. Uh, all entirely up to you. So the, the traditional story arc follows from the traditional arc from knee to toe. 
Uh, we have an intro, which is the preamble of your, uh, of your documentary. The inciting incident, which is what is compelling you to shoot in the first place. Uh, the reason for action, whether it's you yourself as a filmmaker taking that action, or if it's your subjects that's taking you to the, to the reason of action. And usually there's always a point of no return where there's people giving up hope. Like, oh my god, you know, this is a waste of time. And it could be the audience. And exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no pun intended either. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, there, there's always a there, there's always a give up point, the mm. point of no return, uh, or else you know, where we find ourselves isolated, stuck. We have to move forward. There's there's no way around it. Comes to thought, whatever, at the very essential, uh, mm. in its raw form, would be the big idea originally that you came up with in the first place. Is usually your catharsis. It's okay. We all live on. So that's the basics of the seven-act story structure. In really quick, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but but I think we all get story. But that's what's common and accepted. So in terms of that, yeah, yeah, yeah.